My name is Jim Hellman. This is my story. Growing up, uh, young age, we always went to church. We were at a, a Lutheran Orthodox church in Florissant. The legalistic rules and religion aspect of it, it was all kind of confusing at a young age, but it somewhat makes sense because there was a lot of structure in my life. And then we moved out to the St. Peter's area and found a church plant. And um, our family went full-fledged into it, uh, all the functions, uh, lots of giving, and it just didn't pan out. There was mistakes made on all ends. And so then my teenage years, we just didn't go to church, and I left for the Army and saw the worst in people, the worst in humanity. Fell completely away from uh, religion and Christ at all, altogether. I had some friends that were atheists, and what they were saying just for whatever reason at the time made sense to me and pushed me in that direction. Uh, then getting out of the Army, I went to college, and I got a degree in biology. And if you have any sort of inkling into atheism, that'll just push you further in that direction, unless you can have somebody guide you back. I had a few friends and family members guide me back to different churches, welcome me, me here to Grace River. And some of the things that I learned through science and also just like head and, head and some heart knowledge about God, it all just kind of clicked. Just the, the general welcoming of everyone that I met at Grace River, everybody wanted to say hi and know a little bit about you. And then getting into small groups, because we had small groups at the time, uh, just, you know, we say here that you can, be an you can be inspired in a row, but life change happens in a circle. And that, that was really a huge one for me. That, that's where it really hit home for me, that I could actually have a relationship with Jesus. And that could be as two-way of a conversation as person to person. Really, like, it just got to that point where it's like I had all the knowledge. I just didn't want to let it go. Like I didn't, it, it's like I had a disconnect between my head and my heart. And I just had to have somebody ask me why. Like, well, what's keeping you from letting it go? And then at that moment, it was just like nothing. I was playing box drum just one Sunday at, at church. And we were playing the song uh, Good Grace by Hillsong United. and. Just the, the lyrics in that song, uh, through playing it and being able to sing along in my head, it was just, you know, that was my let go moment. Saying yes in 2018, getting baptized in 2018, continuing through small groups and building a community, uh, I finally decided to start uh, leading in the church through su uh, sub leader and uh, newcomer small group. Uh, Seeing life change in other people was definitely an extra boost up. Because knowing that it's real for me, that God is real for me is one thing, but then seeing that in others is just amazing. Helping people meet, know, and follow Jesus. The future is just, it, it, at this point, it really truly feels like it's limit, limitless. And I cannot wait to see what it does for other people's lives and the blessings they receive.